Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are here in the F-14 Tomcat. We're going to be trying something from the Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun 2 Maverick movie that uh, recently came out. And many of you were requesting that we try this. We're going to try split throttles. Okay, we're going to be fighting an F-15, a very challenging opponent for the F-14. But we're going to try splitting the throttles to see what happens. Uh, right now we're going into the one circle turn here. Okay, he's a little high. I'm going to pull the left AB, slide the nose down a little bit. We're going to feed it back in, try to get the nose on. And I hit him. Wow. Whoa. Actually did really well there. He's still alive, though. We'll go ahead and try to get a Fox 2 shot on him if we can. Oh, he just ejected. Hey, man, that was pretty cool. The split throttle thing. I, I honestly didn't think it would work. And... I think if you exaggerate too much and you completely pull the engine, it could be problematic. But if you just take the engine, the AB out of the engine just a little bit uh, and leave it in the right engine or the left engine, whichever one you're trying to differential thrust, it actually does seem to do some interesting things. So let's experiment some more. So with the engines of the F-14 having that little gap in between them and having the space, what happens is if you do, if you pull one engine entirely and leave AB in the other one, you can cause differential thrust in a way that it'll flat spin you. And we all know how deadly that is in the F-14. But if you just take uh, a little bit out of the engine and leave the other one in full AB, it actually has a pretty interesting effect. Into the one circle here. It causes kind of a side slip almost, and if you feed in rudder and aileron at the same time, you're going to get a pretty decent turn. Um, we're going to pull left AB here, slide the nose down. Interesting, and we're going to feed it back in. Trying not to do it for long durations of time, it's just a little bit. Can we get a shot here? Almost, almost. Just a little bit of engine out and then you gotta feed it back in quickly. You don't wanna cause the flat spin effect. I am kind of struggling with it here though. He is beating me in the one circle. Once the F-15 gets behind you like this, it's uh, usually indicative of some serious problems you're about to have. Especially if you can't make him overshoot and he's sitting in your control zone like this guy is here. And he's got plenty of separation. I gotta dump the nose because I'm way too slow. And he might be getting a shot here. Ow! Yeah, okay. A couple of good hits there. And look at that. He's doing a fantastic job managing his closure. Uh, do I hear hydraulics shutting down on the F-14? It's not a good sound. Oh. Oh. Pull, pull the emergency lever. Where is he? Oh, dude, I can't get him off me. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I'm still alive. It, I'm still alive. It's not over till the fat lady sings. Cross my nose. Look at him. He, he might cross my nose. I might get a gunshot on him right here. Uh, 
Come on, F14. Come on. Come on. I can't even use the differential thrust to get out of this flat spin. It doesn't work like that. Oh. Yeah, I think we got to get out. <laughs> uh, it's now or never. Ah. Ooh. Now this differential thrust thing is going to be most effective in one circle situations when you just want to side slip or you just want to slide out from under the jet and have the nose fall down in a certain direction. It's very useful for that kind of stuff. I can't foresee it being useful in a two circle fight in like a rate fight or something. I don't see it having much use in that situation. Into the one circle turn here. also really good if you're in a bank like this and you just need to make the nose slide down or go up just a couple degrees it's perfect for that almost had a uh, crossing of the nose there I'm pulling the right AB out a little bit to let the nose drop and I'm feeding it back in quickly I don't want to take it out too far cause a flat spin you can see the F14 already didn't like that Got to get real good with it, you know? It's a it's a skill. Okay, he might have hit me there. All right, we're still fine. Right AB's out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it out. And then there it is. You see that nose just slide over? I'm feeding it back in right when that happens. Take the shot. Take the shot. Yes. Oh, dude, that is a differential thrust kill right there. I was actually rolling the aircraft with the differential thrust in order to get that shot. So that's actually pretty cool. So somebody had commented in the Su-57 F-14 video that we did, like, why didn't we use thrust vectoring? And I said it probably wouldn't work. Um, and it it doesn't if you really leave it in, like it's a, it's a split second thing, a couple seconds out, feed it back in kind of thing. But I, I stand corrected. You know, it does have some effect. And if you have the skill, you can do something interesting with it. Watch this. Fuel dump. <laughs> He's just looking across the circle right now like, what is that? <laughs> It's like, am I in a one circle with an F-14 or a Saturn V rocket? Like, what is that thing? You gotta kinda mess with people's heads in dogfights on the psychological warfare, you know? He's probably, I don't know, he's, but I've thrown off his game a little bit. He's gotta be laughing in there a little. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually do something with this round, though. <laughs> Burning a lot of fuel to make, uh, have this effect on him, I guess. Using a little bit of the differential thrust to throw the nose down. Just couldn't get the rounds on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. F-14 did not like that. Differential thrust and I pulled too hard. We got too slow. And the differential thrust put us in a flat spin. This is the danger of doing that. And now I have an F-15 on my tail. We got to bring him in closer. Force the overshoot. That would be ideal. damaged actually here and he is not going away okay I'm going to my six look at this 
I'm basically... Oh. Come on, cross the nose. Yes. Oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> that's unlucky for him. That fight was all his. Right up until he crossed the nose there. Differential thrust kind of messed me up in this one. So you can kind of see the, the negative effects of it as well, I guess.